Purina nutritionist N.T. Cosby says, ensuring a healthy calf begins long before it arrives. Really, we need to back up and actually think about how we're taking care of that cow and making sure that even before that calf is born, we're providing good nutrition for that cow. That's going to translate to a healthier calf at, uh, at calving, better quality colostrum, and get that calf off to a good start. Vaccinations are good tools in herd health management, but they're not the singular answer. We know that in order for vaccinations to work, immunizations to work most effectively, it needs to be combined with a good quality nutrition program. And that starts, as we, as we mentioned, with the cow and a good quality mineral nutrition program for the cow, and then having the appropriate feeds available to, uh, to animals at time of stress. Although weaning might be at the top of the stress list, Cosby suggests there are many more stressors, like any time feed changes happen. Uh, so, of course, weaning would be the first one. As we transition cattle from uh, maybe a weaning diet to a finishing diet, uh, that could be a time. Short, of course, weather stress, uh, we can't uh, affect any of those necessarily, other than uh, having good quality, good environment. Besides vaccinations and good nutrition, there's another link to consider. It's not all on the farm or ranch. I believe is, is, is talk to consumers about that's our goal. Uh, that is our goal. Nobody, no cattle producer wants sick cattle, no cattle producer wants to have to use antibiotics uh, in an in a injudicious manner. So uh, I think that's a lot of what we can do and be proactive that uh, we are caring for the health of our animals, using antibiotics in coordination with a uh, veterinarian to make sure that uh, we are keeping cattle healthy and, uh, and our food supply very, very safe in this country. I'm Bob Cervera.